Hi, my name is Breen Onorocht. I'm Head of Hospitality Studies here in Dundalk Institute of Technology. We offer a range of programmes here in the department from certificate to ordinary degree uh, to level 8 honours degree. We have very strong connections with industry locally, nationally and internationally. We work very closely with all our industry partners. We assist students finding employment in industry. We have a very good library here in the Institute that's very well staffed and a very helpful staff in the library. Our common room is part of the student services building that accommodates all of the student services and we have a common room where students like to take it easy perhaps at the end of the day. Open day is normally held mid-October where we invite all the schools um, from our catchment area in to visit the college on that day. Hello, my name is Helen Clark and I'm a student here in DKIT and I am doing a higher certificate in culinary arts. I've always wanted to do cookery but then like 20 years ago I didn't get a chance to do it so that's why I came back now. It's something I always wanted to do. It's mostly practical and then there is some academic subjects as well and we have to do projects and reports for them. There's a good balance between academic and practical work. We do have a dress code, we have to wear our full whites when working in the kitchen and hats and hair nets. Today is our last day and we're doing a buffet module and there's going to be a buffet in the restaurant for 60 people. So it's very busy now getting everything ready for that. And we spent the last two weeks getting all our food prepped. Because it's buffet, it's terrines and galantines and salads. There's some hot foods and there's a lot of desserts. The advice I give to a, a mature student coming back, I would say yes, go ahead and do it. It's not as scary as you think. Hi, my name is Paddy Matches. I'm a third year student here in DKIT and I'm studying hospitality management. This is my ordinary level degree year or so. I hope to go back and do fourth year, let's say. So the lecturers are brilliant here in the college. Um, I have a lot of time for them and they have a lot of time for us, which is very important. The, it's not like a, a big university rant where the lecturers wouldn't know your name, but here every lecturer knows your name, which is really good. It's very personal. Well, in, in semester two, year two, um, all the hospitality and event management students have to do an internship or a placement. For my placement, I went to Baltimore Marriott Waterfront, which is in Maryland in America. This is the best experience I've ever had. I did nine months there. I did from January until September. We worked in the banquets department mainly, which meant we served thousands of people, like big conferences. We also worked in the restaurant. We worked front desk. We got to cross, be cross-trained within the hotel. And anyone that's coming to do this course, your internship, it's very important and it's one great time. We have Moodle at the moment, which is very good. We can go online and get our notes offline, but the lecturers won't put it online unless you're in class. You've got to be in class to get the notes off Moodle. We have a new canteen at the moment, Campbell's Catering run that for us, and you have all varieties of food, and it's massive, it's a pretty big, pretty big college. You also have the coffee dock and the well. In first year, we work in the restaurant here. We set up for guests and lecturers and students to come in and have lunch during the day. Then in second year, we organize events on the, during the evenings. The college is preparing us here for the, for the big world. With the training we're doing, the practical training we're doing, and then the academic work we do as well. It is a business course, so the management end of things we do in third year. But first and second year definitely train us up for the practical work which we have to do in the hotels and the catering industry. Hi, my name is Alan McCabe. I'm a lecturer here at the KIT in the hospitality department. There's um, a, a good focus on innovation and entrepreneurship, so they're given a good basis for those who want to go out in, into industry and open their own establishment. They're given a good business background. The majority in the past have been school leavers, however in the last number of years we've noticed quite a few more mature applicants, which is great, it gives a great balance in the mix of the classrooms. There is student accommodation available on campus, a new student accommodation opened three years ago, as well as that there's a number of estates quite local which would have large amounts of student uh, houses available. A lot of the courses, nearly every module, will have a large proportion of continuous assessment between 30 and 50 percent. For the uh, culinary arts students, they have to purchase knives and uniforms at the start of the year in year one. The average cost is roughly around 400 euro, but again we organise deals with suppliers to ensure they get the best value possible. You can apply for advanced entry into second year of a course based on your experience and based on your previous working experience, previous education experience, so there are other options for the more uh, able students. DKIT is located on the main Dublin road in Dundalk. It's approximately an hour to Belfast, an hour to Dublin a motorway link and it's approximately 10 minutes, 15 minutes walk into the centre of Dundalk. Our facility here in Dundalk Institute of Technology is relatively new. Uh, we have very good kitchens, we have a beautiful restaurant. Um, the staff here in the department are very strong in their areas of expertise. We have a very good staff team that work well together and work well with the students. So we have a very student-centred approach to what we do.